Christ. My Jesus Christ. My Jesus Christ. My Jesus Christ. Hey, you get out. My Jesus Christ. Leave her. Leave her. Get out. My Jesus Christ. Why? We all go to a house church, but she chose to follow the Pentecostal church. Through the umbilical cord. Okay. She was born that way. She was born that way. I want to make her crazy. I want her to go crazy. Okay. Mm. So you live here, eh? Huh? So you have a umbilical cord. Huh? Her grandmother is bewitching her. So you have a umbilical cord. So you have a umbilical cord. Yeah. So you have a umbilical cord. Yeah. They bewitched all of them. Okay. What's up, man? Sibela. Sibela. Get out. Get out. Get out. My Jesus was Christ. My Jesus Christ. Get out. My Jesus Christ. My Jesus Christ. You live here. Get out. And this is deliverance for the rest of the family. If you want to go to the house, Sibela. Sibela. The mighty Jesus Christ. The Christ. Remove what you've done with the umbilical cords. Get out. Remove, remove, remove. Remove. Get out. Sepela. Sepela. Naga fidil. Naga fidil. Sepela. Moyon Noha Sepela Kamuka Sepela Kamuka Take your properties, all of them. Mighty Christ! Mighty Christ! Mighty Christ! Take everything and go. You will never return. Never return to this body. You live it completely. You will never come back. Your time is up. Stand up. Let's live for Jesus. We could have No, we really am horrible. Oh, no, say, listen, no, 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 Messiah's greetings, blessed viewers. You're tuned into RTV, where fulfillment is captured. You're watching the Sunday Life Service dated the 19th of May, 2024. Now, during the prayer line, as our father was ministering to the beautiful saint, our mother uh, manifested, a demon manifested in our mother, exclaiming that they have bewitched her through the umbilical cord. We are just going to hear more from her. Mama, please tell us your name and where you come from. Okay, my name is Tabea. I'm from Zone 5, Harankua. All right, Mama, please explain to us, um, as the demon had mentioned that uh, you were bewitched uh, through the umbilical cord. Is this knowledge that you had? Yes, I once attended a church while I was staying in Silverton, and there's a pastor who I was having problems, and she told me that 
my grandmother, who is in a cult church, took my umbilical cord to their church. Yes, and then it was placed under water. Okay, and were there challenges that uh, came as repercussions from uh, them taking your umbilical cord? Yeah, there were a lot. The challenges, mostly I was, I was struggling with lust. Then I struggled with tonsils because there, were, there was a time where I had to go for operation and they took me to the church for prayers. And ever since then, every time when I come across challenges, it will start with fear. After fear, then the tonsils will come and strike. After that, the mind attack. It will, it will be like, I'm crazy. I'm, I don't understand myself. I lack peace of mind. And most of the time, I will think things that will distract me and the fear comes, then it will be a disaster with my life. It will feel like I'm just going to get into a mental institute, whereas I know within me that I'm okay, I'm normal, I'm a child of God, but I will encounter such a big challenge. But after prayer, I will be fine. Lately, maybe sometimes in lifetime, it will come and attack. It's something that comes and goes. So I was really distracted in life. Okay, please take us through when the issue of the tonsils started and did you seek any medical um, help? No, I never seek any medical help. It was something that will come as an attack and I will pray it goes. Then it will come back again. Then I come to church, I pray, and it goes. So it keeps on coming and going, coming and going now and then. And how long were you suffering from the issue of tonsils? When did they start? No, since 1994, after the operation. Since 1994. Wow, wow, that's amazing. Uh, you spoke about the issue of fear. Please take us through what would come to your mind. What would you normally meditate about when, when the spirit of fear attacks you? Mostly it will be worry. I will worry a lot about the life that I'm living. Like uh, my family, my mother is in a cult church and I'm a born again Christian. So sometimes it will be about my future. I will ask God or what is really happening? Where am I going to end up in life? Sometimes the worry will come when I lack money. Then I will start worrying. Then I start getting fear and after that it's like I will lose my mind so that that is it Amen, the demon also mentioned uh, the dispute uh, uh, to the fact that you go to a Christian church and not a cult church were there any disputes in your family about the fact that you don't go to a cult church? When we talk about the dispute it happens every day of my life now that the work that I'm the, the, the job that I'm working at, I mean, let me just say the work that I'm working is not the matter. Like, I'm not earning enough to whereby I can buy a house for myself. I'm a single child to my mother. I don't have siblings. So I'm staying with her. So you can imagine there are photos all over the house. So I don't have, like, I, I am not free because... We always argue, even today in the morning, because of when I'm working in Jobek, but on weekends I come home. So even in the morning, I was supposed to come to church. I told her yesterday, or I have to go to church because I'm experiencing challenges, this and that. So I need to go to church. In the morning, she just started screaming, saying there's no church like the only church that you know that you grew up from is one church, not the church that you are talking about. You talk, you talk about challenges, then the argument started. It's like there's a demon that is manifesting through her that don't want, that wants to prohibit me from coming. And mostly, you must remember, I'm attached to her. She's my mom. I'm always feeling for her. So every time, like before I, I do anything, I make before I can bath, I make sure that the household things are sorted. I have cleaned the house. And then I left, cooked the meal so that she doesn't struggle. But she's not realizing that. She's not like appreciating that, okay, at least my child is trying. What she wants to do is to block me from coming here. Even today, today it was even worse. And I could feel her something is going to happen. The, the way she was so, hey, it was like something that was really angry within her. 
that wanted to block me to come here. So, but I could feel in my spirit, no man, today man, something is, something, I'm going to get deliverance. Something is going to happen within me. Something is going to manifest. And indeed, it really happened the way I thought, because the way the fight was too much. And she tried by all means to block me, but I at least pulled through and came to church. We bless God. We truly bless God for that. Uh, we will bless God for the great physician who has ministered unto you because the demon did say that they wanted to block you from everything uh, through the umbilical cord. What would you like to say to God, the Holy Spirit, whom has um, um, helped you from the issues, especially issues that you've been suffering from? You said 1994. What would you like to say to that God? Yo, what I want to say is that I love my father. I love Papa Leso Daniel with all my heart. I love God and I give glory to God. This thing has, has been exposed because most of the time when people are delivered in church, I'm scared to go to the front. And I will say to myself, hey, I never manifested. I never screamed. So I, I'm even shy because I've been long in this church. If I can tell you, I started with Papa a long time ago. So I'm even shy. Okay, it's been long that I've been born again. And now I'm going to be delivered in front of everyone to see me. Yo, yo. I will feel like I can just be delivered where I am. But I feel horror. I need that. I need people to see that God is alive. And God sees hidden things that they think they are hidden. But God can pull through and see and expose. So I give glory to God. I thank God. I thank God about my father, Papa Leso Daniel, that he was able to see what was really bothering me. Because I thought she's, he was just going to lay hands on me and say, ah, uh, it's the Holy Spirit. I am so happy that he can even see the hidden things that are hidden, that are hidden through our faces, we will think that a person is happy, but Papa can pull through and say, no, this is not it. So I thank God. I thank God so much about Papa Leso Daniel. I love him. I wish him all the best in life, in everything that he wants and he wants to see being accomplished in our lives. Amen. Amen. We bless God for, for that ministration and your ultimate deliverance. Truly, the Holy Spirit is not unaware of the devil's schemes. From my delivered mother and I, it is to God be the glory.